Kenya Vision 2030 is the country's long-term development blueprint that was launched in 2008. The vision aims to transform Kenya into a newly industrializing, middle-income country by 2030, based on three pillars, economic, social, and political. Under the leadership of President William Ruto, Kenya is making significant strides towards achieving the vision. The government's focus on sustainable development has led to the prioritization of intra-African trade, creating jobs, and reducing poverty. While some have criticized the vision for being unrealistic, the government is committed to its ambitious goals. In today's video, we'll be focusing on two of the three pillars of the vision, economic and social. The construction sector, which is the fastest growing sector in Kenya's economy, is playing a key role in achieving these goals. With a growth rate of 10% per year, the sector is contributing significantly to the country's economic development. Join us as we take a closer look at 15 of the most significant ongoing mega-construction projects in Kenya. From the Standard Gauge Railway to the Lama Port South Sudan-Ethiopia Transport Corridor, we'll showcase how these projects are improving connectivity, boosting the economy, and creating job opportunities. 15. Tekena Lamu Pipeline British energy services firm Wood Group PLC has completed design work for a massive pipeline that will move crude oil from Lokicha Fields in Tekena to the port of Lamu. The company, which was in March 2018 appointed by Kenya to undertake the front-end engineering design for the 824 km pipeline, has delivered two design options. The first option comprising a pipeline with onshore storage facilities will cost $84 million, while one with floating storage will cost $82 million. 14. Palm Exotica The proposed US $277 million project is a mixed-use development that will feature tastefully furnished residential suites, eclectic restaurants and a vibrant 24-hour casino, a good feature for coastal entertainment. Each intuitively designed floor plan, from studios, presidential suites, exclusive sky apartments and penthouse apartments are fitted with modern appliances and tasteful furniture. Floor-to-ceiling windows and expansive balconies will have uninterrupted views of the vibrant blues of the Indian Ocean and Emerald Tropical treetops. Residents will also have access to a host of facilities including a casino, nightclub, retail mall, theatre and cinema, state-of-the-art fitness centre, wellness spa and children's play area as well as a five-star hotel and its lavish facilities. Furthermore, the tower will give its occupants uninterrupted views of vivid ocean colors and the picturesque water panorama. 13. The Pinnacle Hilton The Pinnacle, also Pinnacle Towers, is a building on hold in Nairobi, the capital and largest city of Kenya. When completed, the skyscraper is expected to become the second tallest building in Africa after Egypt's iconic tower and the third tallest building in the Southern Hemisphere at 70 stories and over 1,000 feet 300 meters in height. The skyscraper is located in Upper Hill on a 2.5 acres 10,000 square meters piece of property approximately 4 kilometers 2 miles southwest of the city center of Nairobi, the capital city of Kenya. The development of this project is a joint venture by Has Petroleum and East African Petroleum Products Distributor and the White Lotus Group, a Dubai-based investment firm. The White Lotus conglomerate is run by Indian businessman and godman Vijay Kumar Naidu, otherwise known as Kalki Bhagwan. The budgeted construction cost for the Pinnacle Towers is 200 million US dollars. Of that, the developers contributed 50 million US dollars and the balance was borrowed from a Frexham bank and some Kenyan banks. The main contractor is China State Construction Engineering Corporation, CSCEC. 12. Lamugarisa Isyalo Road Lamugarisa Isyalo Road is a road in Kenya and is part of the Lomu Garisilizialo Lokicha Road, which itself is a component of the Lomu Port and Lomu Southern Sudan Ethiopia Transport Corridor Lapset, project. The road starts in the port city of Lomu and proceeds in a northwesterly direction through the town of Bura, Tena River County, not to be confused with Bura, Garisa County, and continue on to the town of Garisa. At Garisa, the road continues its northwesterly direction to Modogashi. Here it takes a southwesterly direction through Gobretula to end at Izielo 
a total distance of approximately 580 kilometers, 360 miles. 11. Kinol Isiolo Highway The Kinol Isiolo Highway is a planned dual carriage highway in Kenya. The highway would link Kinol in Mochikos County to the towns of Riyiru and Taika in Kiambu County, Koboti and Mokuyu in Muranga County, Segana and Kibirigui in Kirinyoga County, Karitina and Kigonjo in Nairi County, Nenyuki in Laikipia County, Timau in Meru County and Izialo in Izialo County. The highway starts at Kinol, a neighborhood in the town of Metaboni in Mochikos County, approximately 25 kilometers 16 miles north of Mochikos, where the county headquarters are located. It takes a general northerly direction through nine Kenyan counties, skirting Mount Kenya to end at Izialo, approximately 305 kilometers 190 miles to the north. The highway, for the most part, follows the route of the existing single carriageway road that is in various stages of disrepair. The government of Kenya, through its Peristatal Kenya National Highways Authority, plans to widen the road to a dual carriageway. As of January 2019, the design for the Kino Nairi section was complete. At that time, it was expected that by June 2019, the design of the Nairi Isolo section would also be complete. Then the project is expected to move from the design stage to the procurement stage. 10. Tattoo City Tattoo City is designated as a project of strategic national importance pursuant to the Physical and Land Use Planning Classification of Strategic and Intercounty Projects Regulations 2019. It is a flagship Vision 2030 private sector development and is gazetted as a special planning area. Located on 5,000 acres, Tattoo City Zone was home to more than 60 business entities two international schools namely Nova Pioneer and Crawford International as of 2022. Still that same year the city was also home to various completed, ongoing, and proposed housing projects among them Kijoni Ridge, Lifestyle Heights, Unity Homes, Keribu Homes, Tattoo Waters, and Connor Estates. Some of the companies with a presence in the Tattoo City Industrial Park by 2022 included Dormans, Kenya Wine, KWAL, Unilever, Copia, Bitco, Davis and Shirtliff, Coopers, Chenderia Industries, Gallagher, Tian Long, and Kimfei among others. Tattoo City represents a new way of living and thinking for all Kenyans, creating a unique live, work and play environment that is free from traffic congestion and long-distance commuting. Underlying Tattoo City's design is a visionary concept aiming to shift urban development in Kenya from the familiar single-node model to a decentralized urban environment. By doing so, Tattoo will significantly decongest the city of Nairobi by offering a unique live, work and play environment. The project has an estimated cost of $154 million. 3. The Thwake Dam project is a multi-purpose dam project located in Makweni and Kitui counties in Kenya. The dam is being constructed on the Thwake River, a tributary of the Eita River. The project is being undertaken by the China Gezhuba Group Company. The dam will have a water storage capacity of 688 million cubic meters and expected to cost approximately $25 million. The funding was provided by the African Development Fund. The Thwake Dam project is a controversial project, some people have raised concerns about the environmental impact of the dam. Others have argued that the project is not necessary, as there are other ways to meet Kenya's water needs. Despite the controversy, the Thwake Dam project is moving forward. The dam is expected to be completed in 2025. The Thwake Dam project is a significant undertaking, it is the largest dam project in Kenya since the completion of the Masinga Dam in 1970. The project is expected to have a major impact on the lives of people in Mokweni and Kitui counties. It is also expected to have a significant impact on the economy of Kenya. The benefits of the project are numerous. The dam will provide water for domestic, industrial, and agricultural use. 8. Mombasa Port Expansion The Kenya Ports Authority 
KPA has announced a $140 million plan to upgrade four berths at the port of Mombasa to handle both cargo and goods not packed in containers. The investment is driven by growing demand for imported cargo in the region, where most economies are growing by at least 5% annually, according to KPA Managing Director Daniel Manduku. Exports make up just 15% of the cargo that goes through Mombasa every year, with a third of the total belonging to neighboring countries, while Kenya, the region's biggest economy, takes up the lion's share. Annual cargo traffic through the port is projected to jump to 47 million tons in 2025 from 32 million tons last year, Manduka said in an interview at the port. We are currently undertaking major expansion program. We are trying to be ahead of the game, said Manduku. Mombasa port, built in 1895, is the main trade gateway for the Eastern Africa region, serving Kenya and seven neighbors, including Uganda, Somalia, Rwanda and South Sudan. The volume of cargo handled is expected to rise to 34 million tons this year, including 1.4 million 20-foot containers. 7. Tanner River Nuclear Plant Kenya is set to build a $5 billion, 540 billion shillings, nuclear power plant on a site in Tenna River County over the next seven years with funding from private investors. The Kenya Nuclear Electricity Board, KNEB, in a regulatory filing with the National Environment Management Authority, NEMA, revealed that the plant with an initial capacity of 1,000 megawatt, MW, plant would be constructed through a concessionaire. The government looks to expand the plant's capacity fourfold by 2035 under a build, operate and transfer BOT model. The KNEB plan will be subjected to public scrutiny before the environmental watchdog can approve it and pave the way for the project to continue. Kenya views nuclear power both as a long-term solution to high fuel costs incurred during times of drought when diesel generators are used and an effective way to cut carbon emissions from the power generating sector. The KNEB said private funding for the nuclear plant would ease the burden on Kenya's strained public coffers. The estimated cost of the nuclear plant is nearly half the government's annual tax collections. The financing aspect of the nuclear power plant is among the plans underway with a build operate transfer BOT, being the most preferred financing agreement with the concessionaire that shall come on board, the agency says in plans submitted to the environmental watchdog. 6. The Mombasa-Nairobi Expressway the Mombasa-Nairobi Expressway or Nairobi-Mombasa Expressway, also known as the Nairobi-Mombasa Highway, is a proposed four-lane toll highway in Kenya. The highway will link Nairobi, the capital and largest city of Kenya, to Mombasa, the largest seaport of the country. The new highway is expected to cut travel times between the two cities from the current 6 to 10 hours to approximately 4 hours. The road starts at Jitaru along the Nairobi-Nikuru Highway, approximately 24 kilometers, 15 miles, northeast of Nairobi city center. It continues in a general southeasterly direction, through Ngong, Ongeta-Rongai, Kisaju and Isinia to rejoin the existing Nairobi-Mombasa Road, just north of Konza. The highway passes through nine Kenya counties to end in the city of Mombasa at the Changamwe roundabout, a total distance of about 525 kilometers. The cost of constructing this expressway is budgeted at 2.1 billion US dollars. Part of the funding is expected from the Export Import Bank of the United States and the US based Overseas Private Investment Corporation. 5. Northland City The Kenyatta family is undertaking an ambitious real estate project that will result in an 11,000 acre mixed use estate comprising residential, industrial, and commercial units hosting about 250,000 people. Dubbed Northland City, the development that is estimated to cost 500 billion shillings, will occupy an 11,576 parcel of land in Ruiru, about 15 kilometers from the Nairobi city center. The land, which is traversed by the Eastern Bypass, is owned by the Kenyatta family and is currently occupied by its dairy processor Brookside and Jicha Farm, the family's livestock rearing business. According to the Northland City's master plan, some 3,570 acres have been earmarked for housing, with 3,134 acres set aside for low-density housing, 
306 acres for high-density housing and 130 acres for medium-density residential housing. The low-density housing segment will have 601 villas and 1,320 townhouses while the medium-density area is reserved for 670 townhouses and 368 housing units in blocks of flats. A total of 6,980 units on blocks of flats and some 3,100 townhouses have been planned for the high-density residential housing area. The master plan further shows that 390 acres have been set aside for a business district, including some 33 acres that are earmarked for a shopping mall or hotel and 2 acres for a clubhouse. Some 695 acres have been set aside for construction of an industrial park. 4. Nairobi Bus Rapid Transport BRT, system. An agreement has been signed for the development of the Nairobi Co Bus Rapid Transit Line 3, the first dedicated electric bus rapid transit lane in East Africa. The agreement was signed between the Government of Kenya and the European Commission. As per the agreement, the parties will jointly fund the project to the tune of 347.6 million euros, roughly 50 billion Kenyan shillings. Zero emission electric buses will be a feature of the Green Mobility Nairobi Core Bus Rapid Transit Line 3 BRT3. It will also introduce intelligent transport system features and reasonably priced fare settings. Additionally, it will include access to the public transportation system for youth, women, as well as low-income households. It is said that it will also address traveler safety. Kenya has been at the forefront of electrifying public transportation systems, at least in Nairobi and throughout Africa. The country is still far from hitting the levels of the United States, China, and other advanced countries. Despite that, Kenya has been receptive to electric vehicle companies looking to put their vehicles on the road for the bulk of public transit customers. Nairobi's public transport system, meanwhile, has not managed to keep up with the pace of development. Kenya's transportation industry has profited from technical support from the European Union EU, over the last decade. In order to oversee the execution of the Bus Rapid Transit BRT, system in collaboration with the EU, the Nairobi Metropolitan Transport Authority Nomata, was founded as a government agency. 3. Nairobi Railway City the Nairobi Railway project, which would cost $182 million, was developed by the UK firm Atkins Global. It was unveiled by the UK Prime Ministers G7 and G20, Shepard Jonathan Black. According to Kenya Railways, the first phase of the Nairobi Railway City's construction work has already begun. Philip Minor, Managing Director of Kenya Railways, said that the underway works include establishing a footbridge across the Nairobi Railway Yard, a new Nairobi Central Railway Station, and a public square. In addition, the railway station and public park site will be hoarded and secured. The Nairobi Railway Yard will also undergo a thorough drainage overhaul, a new structural steel locomotive shed will be constructed, the CXR6 shed at Mokodara Yard, and the old shed will be relocated at Nairobi Yard. Finally, the driveway and car park at Kenya Railway's headquarters will be paved. The modern, all-weather pedestrian footbridge that traverses the Nairobi Railway Yard will be convenient for those who have disabilities, he continued. In order to prevent any incidents, he also recommended that rail commuters and pedestrians use the designated pathways as they enter and exit Nairobi Central Station. The completion of the Nairobi Railway City project, which is being implemented in phases, is scheduled for 2030. The initiative is funded by both the Kenyan and British governments. 2. Lapset Lomoport South Sudan Ethiopia Transport Lapset Corridor Project, also known as Lomo Corridor, is a transport and infrastructure project in Kenya that, when complete, will be the country's second transport corridor. Kenya's other transport corridor is the Mombasa, Uganda Transport Corridor that passes through Nairobi and much of the Northern Rift. Some basic Lapset infrastructure has been built, a police station and harbor office in Lomo and lengthening of the Lomo Airport runway. One, Konza Technology City. Konza Technopolis, 
previously called Konza Technology City, is a large technology hub planned by the government of Kenya to be built 64 kilometers 39 miles south of Nairobi on the way to the port city of Mombasa. It is marketed as a key driver of Kenya's national development plan, known as Kenya Vision 2030. As of January 2019, the project appeared to be far behind schedule. It is a business process outsourcing BPO, project that is being marketed by the Kenyan government through Kenya ICT Board. It is dubbed Where Africa's Silicon Savannah Begins. According to the Konza Information website, the project wants to attract business process outsourcing, software development, data centers, disaster recovery centers, call centers and light assembly manufacturing industries and build a university campus focused on research and technology as well as hotels, residential areas, schools and hospitals. It is also intended to include a science park, a convention center, shopping malls, hotels, international schools, and a health facility. It is estimated to cost approximate 14.5 billion US dollars. It is marketed as a key driver of Kenya's national development plan, known as Kenya Vision 2030. From the impressive Nairobi Expressway to the ambitious Konza Technopolis, Kenya is home to some of the most exciting construction projects in Africa. These mega-projects are not only transforming the infrastructure of the country but also creating new opportunities for growth and development. As we've seen, these projects are diverse and range from transportation to technology, energy to tourism, and more. They are providing new jobs, improving access to services, and increasing the country's economic competitiveness. But the work is far from over. As these projects continue to take shape, they will require ongoing support and investment to ensure their success. So if you're interested in learning more about these exciting projects and staying up to date on their progress, be sure to subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you'll be joining a community of like-minded individuals who are passionate about the future of Kenya and Africa.